Uh, Steve looking very tan. Steve, are you tan? I, I, I've been going for walks in the morning <laughs> and I was listening to this book about a tiger. <laughs> Thank you for And it's <laughs> one of my favorite books I ever listened to. About tigers. And it's about, it's about uh, the more Tiger. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so there's two new ephemeris coming. They're earned through standing and you can craft them. The first one is going to be the uh, Seraphire ephemera. Oh, so they're oh, highly, oh, highly oh, driven oh, oopsies. Um, oopsies. <laughs> by the Void Angel designs and the fractals yeah. and the energy there. So if I give them some random colors, this one has, like you can see the metallic bits around the waist there and it'll have Void energy. So very, very, very exciting. Uh, and in motion, they just look incredible. Um, so this one is more of like a harness of just pure raw xerum uh, and void energy. And then we have the wrapped wing ephemera, which effectively gives you a second pair of void hands behind you. So these will move with you. They're here. There we go. So these are. How do you feel? Okay, I get it. I get <laughs> They're it. They're awesome. They look so cool. Wait until I do my, my motion here. Are you ready? It is. And it looks. Actually, I want to pick this close to capture after, but they move with you. Look at that. I used to be able to do this. Uh, not only have I thrown it my bag, but I also can't see. Wow. So. <laughs> amp ones, there's one thing I we should mention. So right now your amps only have one arcane slot, but we are giving you an item that Cavalero will sell where you can add a second slot uh, for you to apply two amp arcanes. So mm -hmm. if you have an amp you really like and you want to invest in it, you can come grab the amp arcane adapter. <laughs> wishing you could talk to Yanta more because frankly, <laughs> who doesn't wish that? Uh, in this area for you to go back to Quim if you want. But that uh, that portal's coming, so. If you do skip that walk though, when are you gonna listen about tigers though? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of information about tigers for sure. <laughs> do you think you'll notice? Blink and you'll miss it, so so. Oh, there you go. All right, there are hand-placed blink pads now throughout open worlds. So you can travel to ones that are appropriate for your objective at a given time. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go to the sea. Isn't that like Twitch slang? <laughs> sea mall. Okay, let's go to the sea. Obviously, the Omni has informed a lot of the choices here for you, Railjack. Oh, this is where we wanted to go. It's perfect. <laughs> perfect. The sea. Uh, you don't actually have to go to the pads to use it. The pads so easy. You can do it, but you can also press and hold M, and you can use it from there. So wherever you might be. Uh, you can use them. And essentially, it's just like uh, generally, like we do things. We're kind of like seeing okay, a lot of players just get on Narkwing and then just press forward and tap shift every now and then for 25 seconds to cross the whole thing. You Might can do as that. Well, still. give them a quick way to just yeah. do yeah. it. So. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Save, yeah. save them some time. You are. You want me to set time of day? Sure. Anything in particular? Let me get... sure, like 11 or something. <laughs> You know, a classic 11. Is that when you go for your tiger walks? That's when I go for my tiger walks. Well, essentially, when you get a ribbon, uh, you can have uh, that one uh, won't show the challenge until you install it. And the big advantage of that is that before, you, uh, before it knows the challenge, we don't have to save it in a special way in the database. So it doesn't have to take one of your slots. Yes. So what that means is that now you could have like a whole bunch of uh, ribbons that you get directly from a sortie. And as long as you don't equip them, they won't take uh, your, um, they won't take a slot for ribbons so that you can have a bunch of them. Um, so that I don't will, know if that's making... That will not make it that, we just started working on that, so that will not make 1.1, but we are working on that. Um, so yeah, expect that at some point. We have a show still. June is coming up. It is. June is <laughs> soon. Sometimes, this is just a generalization. There are bugs in it. No. no. And one of, sometimes players want those bugs to be featured. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh this is the voting. Okay. Yeah. No, this is not a vote. I was like, where's Jeff, this going? Jeff voted no before he left, by the way. This is what he was voting for. People like if bugs could be features. And there is a plea on Twitter from Quiet Archer. Uh, there is a bug that allows you to change your operator slash drifter skin tone to any of the color palettes you have. So. For instance, you can kind of make like an Orokin-esque looking character. 
and I bring this to you on... A little Dark Elf style, yeah. I bring this to you on the dev stream to have just a raw, honest conversation about how we're going to decide what to do about this bug. Because obviously you can only pull this off if you know the bug, which means if you... Now everyone in chat's going to be looking, how do I do this bug? <laughs> yeah, but like, we don't know what we're going to do because it's not accurate to the lore. Mm -hmm. So what say you, Steve? Strangely, I think you picked a very good shot to show it off. Uh, thanks, Quiet Archer. And so I think that's cheating, to be honest. So strangely, <laughs> I'm kind of in support of it, but I'm sure there are most colors that I would not. Yeah, I want to see other colors. Uh, yeah. So I can't make like a marble trademarked character. Fifty thousand plat, maybe. Fifty thousand plat to unlock, to unlock it. To Interesting. Unlock, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the honest truth is we don't know what we're going to do. There's clearly, I'm bringing it up here to discuss it so you guys can kind of get a front row seat to how we would make a decision about this. It's important that we want like a authentic experience that makes sense for the fiction of the world. If you finish the second dream and you're customizing your character and all of a sudden you can make your character have hot pink skin, that's a little weird, I think. Like it might take away from the emotional punchiness of that moment. I don't know. I think most people would just make their character into Shrek, wouldn't they? Yes. Yeah. Are you most people? I don't think Pink is the problem. It's going to be yeah. Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we already have Ronald McDonald operator, you know? And yeah. how, Jeff, how do you feel about those, buddy? I love it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff. That's why I left early. Yeah. Uh, we generally decide for with upper, with like player uh, ownership. That's generally yes. a big, you know, pillar of Warframe is let players do what they will. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but you know, there's obviously some. <laughs> you know, we also don't want it to be too crazy. Um, so I don't know. We gotta revise it. Uh, you know, since we're shooting off the hip, my personal approach would be. Let's maybe choose some colors that are a little out of the out of the like norm, no sh no but but not like every color because mm, yeah. mm -hmm. some of them are gonna look insane. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but you know, it is cool to allow to for more uh, for something that you might like even because like, yeah, that example that you showed it looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That's a tasteful version of it. Yeah. 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 Megan's <laughs> version of it won't be so tasteful. Just, yeah. Oh, we're adding new operator dialogue. They're gonna say it's Morbin time. <laughs> Dean is drunk with power, it's true. <laughs> so drunk with power he could end the stream at any time because he could just cut me off mid-sentence. <laughs>